You psycho. What the oh, fuck, what the... Okay. I've discovered the secret of where Pazuzu's come from, I think. Shit, Joey, it's me! Oh. Unless I'm hallucinating or something. Yeah, no, I don't think it's hallucination. I think he's like a zombie or something. He's he's becoming a Pazuzu. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> Dar has become Pazuzu? No, I think it was Joey. <laughs> oh, Joey's oh, turned into a Pazuzu. He's got like horns coming out of his head and the fucking Nosferatu fangs. <laughs> oh. I think I may have awoken the other Pazuzus. Maybe. Oh no, it's just dramatic screaming for effects, I think. Hmm. You... That's not good. Still not seeing anything come up, Sergeant. Not yet, at least. Over. Knowledge. Nothing on the cameras inside either. Why not? Stay frosty. Go check out. Yeah. Oh, okay. Tablet right away. I've spent a lot of time doing climbing. Alright, so there's a possibility that Nick will get his fucking neck broken. Interesting. Ooh. Rough. Oh no! Sandals! Gross! Can it climb as well as we can? Sandals? What? <laughs> yes. Uh, let's see. Spooky sandals. Fake dig site. Secrets. We knew they were here. <laughs> no, one of those explorers Excuse got me. fucked. Apparently the explorers set up a fake dig site so nobody would know where they actually were. <laughs> 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 I have a feeling that bit them in the fucking ass. <laughs> Fucking presenting your preventing yourself from even the possibility of rescue. <laughs> Oops. Oh, more documents. Wonder how much this will be an unintelligible. Uh, Pullman says the radio has been unintelligible. Wants us cut off from the outside world. Aline fought in the unintelligible. She's responsible. Personally, I still harbor doubts. Unintelligible, although without proof, it, everyone remains a suspect. All I can do now is place sentries. Unintelligible. Thirtieth of December. Mary's condition worsens. This evening I awoke from an exhausted day as to find Lady Bradshaw asking my wife more of her damned questions. Mary was babbling something about winged demons. At this, Bradshaw's eyes lit up and she asked whether Mary could sense them now. Gripped by delirium, my wife lashed out, clawing at Bradshaw's chest. Lady Bradshaw withdrew and I was after a while able to calm my wife. His wife is becoming a Pazuzu. <laughs> So it sounds like Lady Bradshaw is the uh, crazy cultist archaeologist who mm -hmm, came mm -hmm. to find evil elder shit. <laughs> She's probably the reason they all died in the end. Opened up the back door or some crap. R73. Cool. Battle tablet. tablet. Are you snow? Are you becoming Pazuzu? Oh fuck, I think they are. Uh, FAO, Van Kuten, new finds for cataloging, clay jars, Acadian times four, bone pipe, dagger, ornament, and seated nude statue, star glyph, AJ? Okay. 
Ah. How long have these degenerate fuckers been down here for no, vampire for paper. speculations? Uh, the specimen defies biology as we know it. How long have these entities lived beneath our feet? Do they awaken mm -hmm. every few centuries to prey on us? The Acadians knew them, if only in ancestral memory. Pazuzu's form is clearly a depiction of them. I theorize that their attacks have informed the folklore of humanity itself, mm -hmm. an ur myth that permeates permeates across cultures the winged demon the horned satyr the minotaur the vampire right yeah spoopy bullshit more rock climbing oh, more documents patient Is history any condition to rock climb name mary uh 30th of december 0200 temp 100.5 sweating eight ounces sailing 330 or 0330 temp 100.7 pulse 152 subject awake not lucid 1100 temp 101 oh yeah it, this is just her getting worse and worse basically uh, yep, wake yep. screaming about monsters in the dark, increasingly jaundiced and feverish. <laughs> Note, two days since exposure to to the entity. Okay. Uh, I guess don't get bit or he'll become one. I think that's what we're learning here. Maybe, possibly. The, the, the good news is we all dined at or the good endings we all die down here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I found a book of Fine's catalog, but I don't think Jason's going to open it. He doesn't care. Oh, he's opening it. Oh, man, more reading. Did I do it? Oh, God. An increasing number of Fine's oh, reference the me. curse of Naram Sin. Okay. Uh, this sermon on mm -hmm. the relationship between gods and kings dates to the Ur third period of Mesopotamia. Naram Sin is an Akkadian king, grandson of Sargon the Great, uh, founder of the Akkadian Empire. The historical record shows him as a pious man who honored the gods. However, the man presented in the curse stories is very different. The mythic nature, the mythic Naram Sin, is a Job-like figure abandoned by the deities. He rages against the gods and wages war on them. This blasphemy is repaid with curses, the first of which is an invasion of the Gutian mountain tribes. This war causes a famine that destroys Naramsin's people. The moral is that man must accept suffering, however mysterious and unknowable the gods' intentions. Naramsin should have endured the trials, no matter how arduous in picking a fight with the gods, Naramsin fought a battle. He thought he could not win. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, fuck that guy. A lot of work down here. A29, yeah, clay tablet, cuneiform on one side. This cuneiform is a holy chant to ward away with evil spirits. Uh, A59, clay tablet showing arrangement of stars. Oh, progress is happening. Clear okay. There. Check. There were so many Check documents in this room. <laughs> How's our friend doing? In oh, God. <laughs> My gun's floating in space again. We're facing an enemy we know zero about. An enemy of unknown size and their home turf sucks to be us. I guess I moved things along by just finishing my segment and you I were trapped you in a uh, lore you dump room. Shot. Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly what was going on. Even shit up with Where, who were you even? I was Jason. There is a transmitter up there. It's oh, okay. Limited range. One thing Eric did manage to get right about this shit show. He gave us air support. Lord loves a miracle. We get that signal out, our birds may be close enough to hear it. Oh. Still means we have to find a way to reach them. My, my decision about bringing in air support may have saved our lives. <laughs> if we can make it out mm. of here. Uh, Jason and Or at Nick, least gave us a way to bury everything. Yeah, uh, Jason and Nick are talking about getting a signal up to air support right now, so. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm here. I'm Nick. Oh, you're Nick, Question okay. Mark? Yeah, Nick, yeah. Oh, okay. So it kicked me out of the Lord Dump Room because you came in the Lord Dump Room. <laughs> mm. Maybe I R can find other things in Lord Dump Room. Are we in Lord Dump Room? Yeah, this is Lord Dump Room. There's shit all over the place. Okay. To go back to uh, the documents. Here's the, uh, the temperatures. Minute. Yeah. About her being yeah. two days since exposure to the entity. Right, 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 right. Okay. 
Yeah, you're gonna find all kinds of shit. Uh, I'm gonna. Open I don't have to rec again. recover all that ground. No. Just get it on screen to read a little bit. Uh, <laughs> you can pause it. Uh, finding cool things. The star glyph. Yes, the ur myth. Right. Okay, I, I pretty much almost read all of it. Um, the only thing I missed was uh, the thing about the constellation tablet, and they found the fragment of the what was it, Hetiumite uh, thing. The thing uh, Karum was carrying around, saying that uh, it showed that the Gutium ah. were more civilized than the Akkadians believed them to be. Well, duh. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> well, obviously. <laughs> it's... All right. What is this one? 29th of December. Ah, uh, this is the radio. I doubt there's anything. Everyone the remains a suspect. All I could do now is place sentries. Yeah, I'm guessing somebody got fucking killed and eaten or something. He was freaking out. Oh, this light's not working. There doesn't seem to be anything else up here, though. Are you up in the deeper in the temple? Yeah, I just walked yeah, up I the think stairs. I see your light. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go back over to the radio because that's progress. Uh, I think I've found all the interactables in the room. Maybe. Radios over here. Yes. Yeah. It's the big light source. Oh, there's something behind the radio. Yeah, it's another document. It's a mug. Is it a map? Ah, oh, dig site. Yes, yes, yes. You mentioned the fake dig site already. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Getting themselves totally fucked. All right. Um. Oh, there we are. We, we can hit hey. So where do we here, stand? Right? How do I? How do I? There we. Uh, oh, trying. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> running. It took a minute to work, but it worked. Thank you. Those things will kill you, Sergeant. <laughs> yeah, like smoking is the biggest threat to my life right now. Fuck that, leave my lighter. Seems like I got a lighter. Well, Wherever you like left him working. tied up. Yeah. It's just a ghost signal. Even without a transmitter, a radio picks up a faint signal. It's just ghosts, man. So fix that transmitter. If we can establish a signal and contact CENTCOM, then we're one step closer to home. I don't know, man. I'm no technician. If Merwin was here, though, he could fix it. <sighs> no shit. Embrace the suck. That's a phrase. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? We've left remember that Salim alone in the middle of this temple. The only guy the only guy who's managed to kill the fucking fucking Pazuzus. Oh hey, it's Dar. Has Dar even seen any of the fucking demons yet? I don't know. <laughs> Has he just been running around here blissful, blissfully ignorant, thinking he's still in a war against the Americans? That he was already not supposed to keep engaging in. He just rolled up to the house. He's like, I got some boys together. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> Salim, 
<laughs> he hasn't Man, seen them. Our gook is money. Kill two of them. Oh my god, Dar. You're fucking insane. Oh man, Dar's gonna fuck everything. Stop. And a gay. Yep. Oh, flick. Uh oh. Uh. Well, that's bad. Get that transmitter working now. I need more time. Oh, uh, we're gonna have a problem. We're gonna have a lot of problems <laughs> in just a moment. This is your uh, fucking Christ speaking. Never mind. Shit. God damn it, Dar. They don't. Yeah. They they don't probably don't understand that. <laughs> I know the thing about bat demon sounds crazy, Dar. Only way we're gonna get rid of this cloud. But you should really get out of here. Pressing fire. <laughs> Flank him. Oh. You're fucking up everything, Dar. You're gonna get everyone killed. <laughs> Oh shit, did you fail? I hit the button. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Maybe that was the good option. I swear I hit the button. There we go. I don't have a clear shot. Careful with that. Oh, I thought he was gonna use a... Yeah, get out of here, dark shot. Hello there, rabbit. The fuck? I didn't get the man. That was oh. very short. Yeah. I was just about to pull the trigger too, because I'm like. All right, well, whatever. <laughs> I would have gladly killed him. <laughs> Well, Dar's still my around. Would be survivors. He feels like he's not part of the group, because he's uh, <laughs> just yeah. been fucking everything up. <laughs> he's just been a constant antagonist. <laughs> Did everyone survive? Like Dar? I'm like, who gives a shit? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Dar. <laughs> oh, you're Rachel now, huh? Wait. I guess. Oh. Rachel. Oh, man. So, uh, yeah, I, we think, some shit. I think What's-Her-Face is going to turn into a monster. Yeah, she's been, she's been pazuzuing it up. So those things take you. She's looking ashier than uh, before, too, I think. <laughs> I don't think it's just the... He's going yeah. to be dragged through the tunnels. Yeah. 
he said. He was a solid dude. He deserved better than me. Don't. What happened to him? She's getting all pazuzu -y. Tell me. Uh oh. He was shot by one of the Iraqis. Is Iraqi still alive? He is. And he's close. What's ah! happening to her? She's infected. She, she's turning into one of those things. Why'd you bring her here? She needs our help. She's beyond help. She help. shouldn't be here. Agreed. We Are we sure help. about that? <laughs> I have no decisions, Step by the way. Rachel. Man. Uh, There's got to be something we can do to help her. Like, it's not too late. maybe shoot her in the head. You're fucking nuts. Look at her. Don't let emotion cloud your judgment. Think about it, Nick. Did, did Rachel says we can save her. Do you, does she have a way? Explain, please. No. Oh, okay. Not that I know of. This on you. Get her to the supply tent. Now. Oh, shit. Okay. Shift advice. Shift board for your friend. All right. Fall back to the main tent. Yeah, I think by the time Rachel's willing to shoot her, bullets are just going to bounce off her face. So. <laughs> Maybe Staker. Ow! 